just going to show you how to change the colour of your plant that you've created. So if you double click on a plant, well first of all I'll show you how to change details about it and that is you double click, edit plant comes up, select definition and press OK. This will take you back to the screen um, when you originally play, created the plant. So it'll have the plant symbol name, the insertion option, so the spread and the spacing, um, it'll have your scheduled size, Latin name and common name, whether you've masked the plants to shadow and any plant data that you might have pulled in from Vectorworks. Um, also though, if I just do that again, so I'm double clicking, and if I go to 2D graphics and press OK, there is the circle that I used to create the plant. The size of the circle, that's determined by the size of your plant, so you don't need to sort of worry about that. But you can change uh, the colour and the line of this shape. So if I just go to the attribute palette uh, that'll do it purple for the salvia I can also change the outline if I want to you can get some quite cool effects by doing this um, maybe I'll just choose a nice green and I'll give it a slightly thicker line weight like one mil and now you'll see all of the instances of that plant have changed if I go to the alcamilla I double click on it 2D graphics, I will change the middle to be a kind of limey green, maybe that's a bit too, well, well, that'll do it. And again, maybe I will give the outline a darker green and make it one mil. And you can see all of a sudden my plant plan, yeah, it's a bit garish, but it's a lot easier to read. Um, so although the circles are good, um, I actually quite like adding some colour and I think it will make it much easier for clients and contractors when they're setting them all out to read. These days most people have A3 printers and most people prefer to work to A3 rather than have a, a big A1 bit of paper flapping around in the wind. You can laminate A3 so you know don't be afraid to use colour. One other thing I will just show you actually whilst I remember, if I select a plant or a group of plants there's another... Um, bit in the object info called tick style so you can change it to be a cross or a dot a dot you'll see here well the size of it is three mil so i'll change that to one mil we'll basically just put a dot in the center of your plant um, if i change that from dot to cross i'll get a cross in the center of my plant so that's just a really handy way of showing well, anyone who's going to use your drawings very clearly where the centre of the plant is going to be. So yeah, a couple of ways there that you can customise your planting plans a bit further.